Hello everyone, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ with everybody. Today I heard a soldier, an American soldier, or he was an ex-soldier in Iraq, and he was the poor man tried to defend the American army in Iraq. You know, don't waste your time, brother. I'm telling you. They hate you, they hate you, they hate you. And who is the one who hate you? No, 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 no. It's not Al-Qaeda. No, no, no. It's not a Zarqawi. No, no, no. It is the American. American is the one who hate their own country, who hate their own soldiers. They hate everything. Those people who call themselves the left. I never saw those people ever support anything about America. John Kerry, he go to Iran, shaking hands with the biggest terrorist in the world. The one who hold refugees of American citizens for almost two years. Hey, how you doing, Mr. President Ahmadinejad? How you doing? We love you. Mwah, mwah. And this is a guy, he was going to be the president of USA. Those people who they are the one who established Hezbollah who killed more than 200 American soldiers in one second. He went there shaking their hands, kissing their shoes. Those people they have no care for your blood. You are no one for them. American soldiers they die to make them presidents. Give me one reason for those people to go there. Nancy Bellusi, she go and she kiss the president of Syria. Mwah, mwah, we love you. Why? Why you love him? Oh, because I am a left? Oh, okay. I see. What else? Why you love him? You know, so, so what if you are left or right? Does that have to do with direction? Like people who they are left, they have to go left always? Take the left turn, take the left turn. You never go right? Yeah, because, you know, we are left, so we have to go left always. Those people, they are mentally sick. They will put you down for whatever you do. It doesn't matter if you are a hero or not. They support everything ugly. And, you know, I want everyone to ask himself a question. Why, why? Osama bin Laden himself, he support the left in America. Why? Why Osama bin Laden, his hero, is the one who made the, the movie, uh, 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 what his name, Monroe, whatever his name, Fahrenheit, the movie about, you know, why he, this is his, his hero? Do you know why? Yeah, because he's a left. The best way to defeat America is let the left take over because they are the most stupid people ever in the history and the easiest way to control this country is giving it to the left. Tomorrow we will have a president and he is a gay. What do you want more? Osama bin Laden will love it. Imagine a gay is the president of USA and he is going in war with Osama bin Laden. What he will do? He will go for peace right away. He will say, hey, listen, I will give you my butt. I am a butt giver. Can we have peace now? Osama bin Laden will bang him and you will say, peace. Let me bang you every day. Now I want people to listen to me carefully and I want those people who call themselves left or under left which one you prefer to be the way Abu Ghraib way or Islamic way this is a surah in the Quran surah 5 verse 33 the punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and strive with might and mind of, of mischief through the land. Yeah, what is the punishment? Execution! Allahu Akbar, brother! This is very easy. You know, it's a lot better than Abu Ghraib, the filthy American. You see what they did? 
they I saw them they have a dog and the dog was you know he wanna buy this this you know this terrorist Muslim you know how I feel sorry for him so execution beheading is a lot nicer I like the Ameri you know I like the Islamic way those stupid American you know they are very filthy Islamic way execution beheading is so nice why because they wage war against Allah yeah they deserve it justice let us continue or what or you know crucify them yeah this is fun imagine imagine you will be you will feel how it's feel to be Jesus Christ himself in the cross it's fun brother they will put you in the cross they put nails in your hands and they will hit they will hit nails and they put it in your eyes as Muhammad did it's fun you will love it come on left people support this idea can we practice this law in USA too to show the Muslims that we love their law and to show them that we are proud about Islamic law not Abu Ghraib Abu Ghraib is a shame man yeah let us practice the law of crucifying people the prisoner of war should be crucified the prisoner of war should be beheaded this is what the Quran is saying it's nicer right yeah yeah we are the left we love that or or what oh you love this one or cutting off their hands Wow brother this is really fun many people would love to see themselves for one time in their life without hands you know you grow up all your life you have hands around you know you your right hand your left hand you know come on feel something in you new fashion the fashion of hands cut it off justice this is nice right Abu Ghraib man they are taking their clothes off naked and you know this is really they are torturing them this is not torturing cutting hands off is not torturing no this is merciful you should love it I, me myself I love it Allahu Akbar brother Nancy Balusi you know I hope the Muslims will not get you and cut your hands off because then you will go on TV and you will say hey I have no hands I love it yeah you would do that but I hope this will not happen to you or what and feet cut their feet how fun man I love it they cut your hands and they cut your feet so like you know after you cut their hand what, what do you want your feet for come on let us be serious you don't want to be walking with feet what the feet's for huh don't be fool there is no need for the hands and there is no need for the, the feet so they will cut your hands and cut your feet because they love you because they are merciful you see Islamic way is a lot merciful from Abu Ghraib and Abu Ghraib they never cut the hands of anyone stupid they should practice Islamic law on Muslims this is their law this is their law Muslims which one you prefer the Islamic law or the American law if when you do American law oh my god look at the American the filthy look what they did in Abu Ghraib let us do this then let us do this then cutting hands and cutting feet from opposite sides or excel from the land so all options is open from beheading to crucifixion to cut in hands and foot it's mercy so the question is you the one who attack American for Abu Ghraib which one you choose Abu Ghraib or Islamic way I'm sure you will never ever attack Islamic way because you are a filthy and you are a hypocrite and you are a liar otherwise how you attack someone for doing whatever he did for people who believe in this if they capture him they will do all of this for him from beheading to cutting hands to cutting foots 
to beat nails in their body. Shame. Abu Gharib is bad, right? I want everybody to copy this video and put it in your page for so anyone he's, he did talk about Abu Gharib show him this video and I challenge him to say that Abu Gharib is a shame but Islam is a great we should practice Islam and Muslims and let us see if the Muslims can say this is injustice execution crucifixion cutting hands and feet this is Islam Jesus is Lord Islam is false I mean